Good morning friends. My name is Chirag Bansal and today we will learn about a sorting algorithm called bubble sort. Bubble sort is a very easy way to sort anything but it has a higher time complexity compared to other sorting algorithms. It has a time complexity of on square on average. However, in the best case it is on which we will look at in a moment and the worst case it is on n square. Uh, an important thing to notice is that it is also stable. So let's look at its algorithm. Its algorithm says repeatedly swap elements if they are in the wrong order. It's as simple as that. So we iterate over the array. So we iterate over the array and if uh, the, the previous element is smaller than the next element, we just swap them. And then we do it uh, uh, incrementally. So let's look at an example. So suppose we have this array 5, 1, 4, 3, 7. So in the first pass, we first swap 5 and 1. Then we check 5 and 4. Then we swap them. And then we check 5 and 3. Swap them. And we check 5 and 7. As they are small, we don't do anything and it is the same array. Here you can notice that after the first pass, you will be shocked that the last element is the largest element. So in the next pass, the, the only checking we will do is till this point. We will not check this these two, la the last two elements. As we know that they are, as 7 will be, will be all, already be the largest element. As we keep on swapping the largest, the larger one to the right, so 7 will be the largest element. So in the second pass, so we first copy the element over here. In the second pass, what we do? We check this as as 4 is larger, we don't do anything. And then we check this as they as 3 is smaller, we swap. Therefore, we get this. And then we check uh, 4 and 5. But uh, they, as, they, as 4 is less than 5, they have, nothing happens. So we get this. Now you, you can notice that it is sorted. But our algorithm does not know if it is sorted or not. So we have to again do a pass. So we check 1 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 5. As we see that there is no pass, we can say that the, uh, that the array has been sorted and we can exit the loop. Let's look at this Java code. So first, we have the first element and then we have an inner loop which starts from 0 to n minus i minus 1 because we know that the n minus i to n has been sorted. Like if it's the first pass, we know that the n minus 1th element, that is the last element, has been sorted. Uh, if we are in the second pass, we know that the n minus 2 and n minus 1 have been sorted. Therefore, we only check till l minus i minus 1. So we check if it is larger, then we, if the previous one is larger, we swap it. And then we make a variable swap equals to true. And then so that we do it for each i over the whole array. So for first i, we check from, uh, from 0 to n minus n so we have it over the whole array then we move i here and then we move from 0 to n minus 1 then we i move i here and then 0 to n minus 2 and we keep on moving forward and if at some i we see that there has been no swapping if there is no swapping that means that it has been uh, it has been sorted so therefore we exit the algorithm over here so if it has if the swap is true if uh, the swap, this is a swap. If there is no swap, then break. So let's look at its time complexity. As for each i, we have o n operations, and there are n i's. Their time complexity is o n square. As for each i, this is the array. For each i, we iterate over the array till n minus i minus one, which is order n. And then as we have i n i's, so we have order n into order n, which is order n square. Therefore, its time complexity is order n square in average case. However, suppose that it is already sorted. If it is already sorted, now when i is equal to 0, it will move through that array, check if, it, if there is any swapping needed, check if there is any swapping needed and it will go through the whole array. And see that there is no swapping needed. And as there is no swapping needed, you, it will exit the algorithm. Therefore, in best case, if it is sorted, then the time complexity is order n.